morning. Oh, I popped down this morning to a small set of woods very close to my house, probably only half a mile away. And I'm going to try somewhere completely different, somewhere I've not been to for about four years with a camera. This is called Urchin's Kitchen and it's a little glacial gorge, very very small actually, which is being cut through the sandstone near where I live. This is a whole area of sandstone around here which stretches for about 30 miles. It's called the Sandstone Ridge and my house is actually built on it, it's made out of sandstone. So it's only going to be a small trip but hopefully a little bit different. Here we are, and I did say it was small, didn't I? It's only a, right about 20, 25 feet tall actually at the sides. And I think some rock climbers come here to practice scrambling. It's, uh, it's only probably about in length, a few hundred feet long as well, but it is one of the more interesting features around here. And I think the conditions are quite good because it's been raining and it's overcast early in the morning. So I don't have any harsh shadows being cast by bright sunlight. Now I was all set up to shoot the little foxglove and sandstone, the shot that you can see behind me here. I had the camera set up with a standard lens and it's set to f22. When I did my metering though, I realised the exposure was going to be at least 30 seconds because it's so dark. And the foxglove is moving about gently in the breeze. And that's just going to look wrong if it's blurred and I can't really get it any quicker the shutter speed. So I may have to look for a different composition sadly. Well rather than abandon this composition altogether because it, it looks lovely through the, the viewfinder, I've actually decided to focus on the second fox glove. Now this one is not only slightly more sheltered, but it's actually more upright. So if there is any wind, it, it does tend to move fractionally. It, it steadies quite quickly. It actually looks better than the first frame I was going to take because it's a simpler shot. Well, as is often the way when you're out shooting, you you get something which gets lodged in your brain. You start to see the possibilities. So I have come back to the same location with the little fox gloves, and I've shot them at a slightly different angle to put them somewhat lower down, and also to give me a chance of getting some oh, I don't know some form into the background because I do love the the green that the moss is growing on that sandstone. Now I've had to shoot at eight seconds and four seconds respectively by changing my aperture. Start with f16 and then I went down obviously to f8 and uh, it's going to be tricky because there's a tiny bit of movement with the wind but fingers crossed one of them comes out. Now I saw a very interesting set of plants growing out of the sandstone wall just opposite me and I'd worked at the composition for probably about 10 minutes with my standard lens and I thought by moving around and getting closer and further away I'd actually get the composition I was after but it simply wasn't working no matter what I did. Now I switched to a short telephoto lens and I moved further back and it immediately looked right. Now you'd think by getting closer up with a standard lens you get the same view but it just doesn't look like that it looks better further away with the compression I get with the the longer lens it's always worth switching around your lens it's obviously you've got to zoom zoom in and walk forwards and backwards and I actually got the shot I wanted funnily enough just by 
switching my lens over. Well, this is the top of the gorge, only about 20 feet up really, so not a very deep gorge as gorges go. But it's just nice to get some difference within the forest. It can get a bit monotonous and a bit repetitive. So it's good to see something uh, which is a little bit odd, unusual. And I'm going to head back down there now and try and finish off the rest of my roll of XR. See, the more I walk around here, the more I get sort of flashbacks to a picnic at Hanging Rock. It's got one of those slightly eerie feelings to it. It's, uh, it is quite an atmospheric location. I think it's sometimes as well things like the, <coughs> the carvings in the rocks. You seem to get a lot of that around here because it is sandstone, it's easy to carve into. So yeah, quite an unusual location. I wonder if it'd work at night. So I've not really seen anything else unfortunately, so that's the end of the day. Uh, could I recommend Urchin's Kitchen? Will there be a part two of this vlog? Well not really, no. It's very pleasant if you live nearby, but there's not really enough to justify a full shoot here. A couple of shots, get them processed, get them into this vlog, onward and upward for the next trip. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.